Hey guys, today we're going to do a little work on my 74 Baja bug. I have a CV joint axle boot that tore and I looked under the car one day. I was doing something uh, looking for an oil leak on a valve cover and I noticed the boot was split open and I had grease kind of being strung around in there so I put a temporary uh, freezer bag around it just to kind of contain it till I could keep uh, uh, debris and stuff out of there till I could get to the boot. So meanwhile I ordered up some boots from uh, J Bugs and I got four all together. The uh, boot replacements, the uh, clip, the C-clips, uh, the grease that's made for the uh, CV joint. It's a high uh, volume grease high pressure high volume uh, it's not supposed to be mixed together with other greases too so anyways okay let's do a little uh, quick walk around here of the of the Baja and then I'll uh, set set up the camera up underneath there jack the car up and we'll get started on this okay this is the 74 Baja bug here had this car for about 20 years and I've had it apart several different times. I know that when I first started the channel, it was going to be about uh, the, uh, you know, working on the Baja bug. And they got the Doom buggy over there. like to weld up some stuff for that, change up, customize some stuff. But anyways, this is the Baja bug. Uh, nice, very nice driving car. It's just been, a, it's my daily commuter right now. So I didn't want to put too many more... Uh, miles on it with this uh, CV joint business going on here. So anyways, we'll get underneath here and I'll just show you. I got a light set up here and uh, right there we got the uh, the axle boot been torn right here and I've got some uh, oh I got a couple of uh, zip ties holding this in place and if you can see that there's a little bit of uh, grease uh, that has dripped out. But I think I've kept most of the contaminates out of there. So, uh, okay, I'm going to uh, take this apart a little bit, and then I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so I now have the car jacked up with a floor jack and supported here with floor jacks. Just because when I'm wrenching around underneath here, I just want to be safe under the car. And I have uh, taken the... The bag that I had off, you can get a good view right there of my boot and uh, the uh, problem that's here. So we have these uh, these six bolts that run through the CV <coughs> right, as you can see, right there. And those uh, bolts take this special, it's a Volkswagen uh part it's the it's not I've been told it's not a Torx I, I don't know for sure I've just always had this tool goes on a 3 8 get a good view of it there so what I like to do is I got this little uh, pick a sharp pick and I'll go through and I like to make sure that although I've had the uh, transaxle in this car replaced uh, with a, a brand new transaxle re-geared uh, probably about three years ago. These are probably going to be pretty clean, but I'll take a uh, scriber tool, a sharp pick, and I'll clean those uh, holes out so this will slide in easy and get a good grip. So I'm going to uh, uh, get to taking this uh, CV axle off, and then I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, these things can be a real pain in the rear to get out of here because I'm gonna I've decided to bring you back as I'm doing a couple of these they got that like I was telling you they got that star uh, wrench on them and this these holes they can just get it doesn't take much see that see all that crud coming out of there now if that's if if you've got that in here then that uh, that star wrench won't get in here and it'll want to strip out and once you get these things stripped out 
it can be a real pain in the butt, uh, pain in the ass <laughs> to get out. So I like to take a a sharp, like a scribe tool like this, put a point on it. I like to get in here and dig this dirt out of these. So I've got uh, uh, these three that are exposed. I set the e-brake on this so when I'm cranking around on here. So what you want to do is get this, see if we can get a good angle on this so you can see it. You want to get this wrench in there and you can see how far it's been in and see they're, they're on there. You want to make sure you get a good good grip on them. The kit that I got has new uh, new bolts going through here and I'm thinking I've had these off a few different times and they're getting they're getting close see now this one's not going on like I like I'm sitting I'm seeing some reveal right here between the splines on this star and how far it should be going in so I'm gonna have to go and uh, dig a little bit more crud out of here when I get enough crud out of there Usually just out of the center is all you need because you get dirt packed in here and it in wet and weather so that It gets hard you if you can see here How far I got to be down in And it, it's starting to this this is starting to wear out a little it may be time for a new wrench But I got to get this down and in there There now I feel pretty confident that with that amount in putting some ah, yeah okay I got that one so that's those two so anyways I'm gonna continue working on this thing and I'll bring you guys back and I think I'm gonna probably have the uh, drive shaft uh, out of the the CV shaft out of the car by the time I bring you guys back next time so I'll shut you off for a little bit here okay Okay guys, so uh, I've been working on, had a little bit of trouble on a couple of these, so uh, I've got it about ready now. Thought I'd just uh, start rolling again here on the uh, last little bit here. I've just got a couple more of these to pull out and then should have the axle out here. Yeah, I can't believe how crusty this thing got in just the uh, short amount of time it's been since I put the transaxle in. But, boy, the bottom of this thing might need a little bit of attention here, too. A little bit of rust and stuff going on here. So, these things are kind of all bring them down to the bottom here. Okay. I got... Okay, got him out. So I should be able to slip this guy out now. Okay, so I got this guy out now, and uh, I won't really know if I've got some grit. I'm just going to tear this whole end apart here and repack everything. So I'm just going to uh, take this guy up here and set it on the workbench. And I think that we're just going to call this uh, this the uh, first episode of this one. Sorry for the shaky camera guys. I'm just gonna set this guy right up on the bench here and I think that we're just gonna call that one uh, out of the car. Damage is right over here. Look right in there. All right well I think we're gonna call that uh, the first video and I'll bring you guys back for the next one. Thank you.